So just open the presentation. And uh, yeah. So again, uh, uh, this whole, uh, this complete course uh, uh, divided into three section. Uh, in the first section, we will design the complete system on module board uh, for RK3399 processor. And in section two, uh, we'll use uh, another processor, which is from TI. And it is, its part number is AM3358 specifically. So we will use that uh, for simulation purpose. And there we will do pre layout analysis. Uh, another section will be the third section, which is uh, the post layout analysis on the same processor. Okay. So uh, uh, today I'll let you know why I'm using these two types of processors rather than doing all the analysis on RK3399. Okay. So we can start with the requirement sheet. So uh, as you guys know, I've already shared this sheet uh, on the group. Uh, and if you scroll down, okay. So again, uh, uh, time to time, I'll ask questions to you people and you can just unmute yourself and answer if you, if anyone uh, uh, knows that, uh, uh, what is the answer of that question? So my first question is, what is system on module? Anybody wants to answer that? Okay, anyways. So again, as its name suggests, uh, system on module means a system on a PCB board, right? A system on PCB board. So here we have two terms. One is system and another one is module. Okay. And what what is the meaning of system? Okay. So a system consists of like few things. What will be those things? Those things can be RAM, ROM, another thing can be its storage or whatever we call in layman language, uh, hard disk. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, we can consider power supply unit also. So these all things, uh, when these all things comes together, the whole system, the whole things we call the system. Okay. Another term is module. Okay, so as this name suggests, module means there will be something very small, right? So when we design uh, all those things on a very small PCB, we call that system on module. Okay, and there we use separate chips. Okay, so that is one thing. Uh, so uh, again, I'll ask another question. So apart from system on module, what else is available? Okay, so, but before that, I just want to show you a few things of, so this is the system on module. Maybe you have seen the, uh, the picture on our WhatsApp group. So uh, this is system on module and as you can see, uh, so here what we have included, uh, we have included, the, this is the e e EMMC and uh, we use that for uh, storage purpose. And here we also flash the operating system. Uh, these are the, uh, the RAMs. Uh, these are the RAMs and here we are using a Wi-Fi module. Um, yeah. So the purpose of uh, like why we are using Wi-Fi module on a, on a, on a, on this, uh, you know, processor board. Uh, so I guess the reason is uh, the, because it is a multi-layer PCB and uh, for Wi-Fi module, we have like few RF connections. And uh, again, we can't route those connection on a two layer board because those connection will be really thick. Okay. So we will see that later. So that's why uh, they have included that on this module itself. Uh, it has few switch switches as you can see. And uh, if it is visible, uh, some of uh, its name is written on this one. So this is reset. Uh, so it's kind of restart the whole, uh, uh, you know, uh, the system and uh, another is recovery so we use recovery switches for flashing something on on the emmc uh, another is power on and off right uh, so these are flashing so here we have two type c connect, uh, you can say connectors uh, so one is for flashing purpose another one is for powering up so to powering up this bolt standalone we don't need to place or you know put a, put that on a carrier board we can power it up through this type C connector. Okay. Uh, so this is our, uh, uh, a kind of board that we're going to design. 
uh, apart from that where that board basically sits uh, so here we have another board as you can see and this board we call the carrier board so here you can see lot of connectors are there right like it has these uh, these audio or headphone jacks it has this uh, uh, sd card uh, connector apart from that here we we have few connectors for you know placing the modules on this one uh, here you can connect antennas apart from that we have hdmis here right U usb host ethernet uh, these are few i2c and uart connectors exposed here right so again this board the 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 me the bigger board uh, we call that board a carrier board and here our system on module connected on the carrier board through a ddr4 connector so it has like 260 number of pins and we can expose everything on that pin whatever we want okay so that's why we kind of customize this system on module so we can design that as per our requirement suppose we wanted i2c on these pins right but there is not uh, there's there's not any i2c as, as default board right so we what we do we kind of uh, redesign that and expose those on a 260 pin connector okay so then we can further connect that i2c to sensors or wherever we are using right uh, here we have a few mipi connections uh, so mipi is again a kind of interface for uh, uh, display and camera okay so as you can see uh, they have this put they have this uh, indicator there so that is representing this is ca for camera and this is for display okay uh, yeah so again it has rtc battery connector also so we will see that because we're going to expose that also on this 260 pin so our major focus uh, on this course will be uh, to design this board okay because this consists all the high speed signals everything on single board and that board will be like it can go up to 8 and 10 layers okay so we will discuss that why we're going to use that uh we'll go, going to use the 10 layer stack up uh yeah so uh, apart from the apart from som we have few more things so again i'm going to use this excel sheet for noting down everything whatever we'll discuss so like if you later you'll be watching this video so you can uh, kind of uh, uh, just pick the topics and uh, uh, you know google it or uh, uh, if you already know the answer it will kind of remind you everything okay so here we have discussed som like what is som the definition but uh, like apart from som what else is available right so we'll see that so there are few things uh, uh, one is sip and its full form is system in a package okay now we the third term uh, that i mean it's it's very common term that uh, you people have already listened uh, the soc okay so soc means the system on a chip okay system on chip apart from soc uh, uh, there is one more term called pop it is package on a package now there is one more term and it is last which is s uh, sip soc okay that is som so we already discussed what is som right so i'm not going to note down this one okay perfect so what is a uh, system in a package so i have another image that i can show you this one okay see so uh, again you can see so these this this uh, this is processor as you can see it's it's a kind of uh, a silicon uh, part and it has all the pin exposed you can see these these thin wires right and under those wire you will see there will be lot of balls uh, the bga uh, connections so we can solder this whole package on our pcb you can see some capacitors resistors also on this one so it has uh, 
this silicon chip of PMIC, same silicon chip for LDOs, DDR memory, right? So as you can see, everything is inside a package rather than uh, uh, if you'll open the system on module again, rather than we are connecting every uh, uh, chip differently. Here we have everything inside a particular chip. So that thing we called uh, system in a package, right? As this name suggests, right? Now, uh, uh, another term is, so I can just uh, define from this image only. Another term is package on a package, right? So as you can see, this is the whole package. This is one package, right? So if you see this kind of package uh, inside a package, okay, that package, that smaller package can be PMIC, can be DDR memory, can be anything, right? So that will be package on a package chip, okay? And again, it will be like really compact size rather than this one. Uh, another is SOC. So this, this thing we called chip, okay? And if our whole system, including DDR, including PMIC, LDOs, uh, uh, EMMCs, everything inside that chip, then that will be our uh, system on chip. Okay. Uh, so these are some different types of uh, uh, things that we use uh, 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 when we design something complex like for mobile application, for server application, for computers, right? So now uh, uh, here I have one more questions for you. Okay, I'll, I'll ask that later. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that is that is the small introduction of SOM and what are the other things that we use, okay? Uh, I think one um, more thing that we can discuss uh, that is computer on module. Okay, what is computer on module? Okay, so uh, so there are a lot of examples of computer on module. As you can see, this is a Raspberry Pi board. And here you can see all the connectors, processors, memory, and EMMCs, Wi-Fi module, everything on a single board, right? We are not using, you know, separate uh, SOM board and its carrier board. So that means it is a complete motherboard here, right? So that thing we called computer on module. Okay, so it's a whole computer on the module, right? It's a very small, small PCB and it has everything like every peripheral. Uh, so here we can connect all the USBs, all this stuff, right? So I hope you got my point. Uh, 